in front of the Mattel booth. We're going to take a walk through, check out some of their different collections, including Jurassic Park. Uh, we'll take a look at wrestling, and we'll take a look at Masters of the Universe. So stay tuned. All right, taking a walk. You can see it's very crowded here, but I wanted to get these nice, awesome gates they have set up for their Jurassic Park anniversary collection. It's uh, 30th anniversary right now, so they have some things on display. As we walk into the, the park here, you can see this awesome gate along with a series of the Hammond Collection figures all throughout this case. Now, uh, the gate is sort of like a um, crowdfunded program. Uh, they have a code here that you could actually snap if you want to follow along and help fund these gates. But uh, other than that, we have a whole assortment of figures here from all the films, including that um, STCC exclusive. Uh, I believe the, uh, the Dinosaur and Geraldo were the exclusive last year, but you could just make out the Steven Spielberg exclusive in the background there. I'll give you a better shot of it in a second. Over here we have a case of the Hammond Collection. You can see a lot of figures that are on display. That have been out for a while now, so nothing really new here at the booth. But it's just nice to see all of these together. And then they have the classic 93 collection. These are going to be based on the figures at the time. I believe, uh, I think that was Kenner at the time. I can't recall. I, I did have some of them, but not really sure. And then we go on to future properties, or current properties, I guess, if Jurassic World collection here. So you can see an assortment of dinosaurs. And then, of course, some of these are from the older... Um, franchises or the older movies in the franchise as well and here is that sdcc exclusive man creates dinosaur set with uh steven spielberg wearing a nice little dinosaur shirt and his camera and comes with the dilophosaurus of course and this fun little packaging that looks like one of the um movie markers here so nice set you can pick this up for 30 bucks on uh, mattel creations or if you're here at the show you can grab it from the mattel booth and we have an assortment of more dinosaurs here from Jurassic World. So big, big dinosaur energy out here at the Mattel booth. A big corner piece of it is uh, going to be mostly dinosaurs. So it's nice to see all these together. You just kind of get a sense of the breadth of their product line at this point. And the Masters of the Universe side of the booth does not disappoint either. I mean, we got some of these great 80s inspired products here. We got some of the more recent inspired products, so we'll just take a quick look over here at the Mattel Creations booth. And you can see these these special guys here. These are the Masters of the Universe Shogun, uh, standing pretty tall. I want to say they're around 20 inches or so, and they have this very unique design to them as well. And then we got Imposter He-Man there too. And then at the bottom, we have this uh, Madoski crossover with this Blacklight uh, Skeletor. Really cool looking, actually. Kind of creepy as well. And then we have this Christopher Kites crossover too of Orko and his uh, sort of like glass look to him. And in the case here, we have a nice mixture of Origins figures. So you can see the cartoon collection in the background showing off Beast Man. And then we have He Man and Merman from the Retro Play as well. So I believe Beast Man, this is the first time he's being shown off in his cartoon look. So pretty nice to see uh, see the, the line growing. I'm very fond of the original cartoon. I watched it growing up. So it's nice seeing these here in the case as well. And you can see a couple of them from the cartoon collection in the front. Really nice design. Love that paint scheme. Uh, yeah, the trap draw came out really well, I think. So here we are with the Origins collection. An assortment of figures here, and these are going to feature different features, like uh, we're going to have the flocked moss man here. So, kind of a throwback. I like that the the flock on the figure. Uh, mine, my flock held up pretty well. <laughs> it didn't uh, fall apart over the years. And then we got the glow in the dark feature on these guys here, on the uh, the skeletons. And I'm just going to take you on a quick walk through the WWE Elite. Superstars collection here. A lot of these are, are already released. They're, I don't think there's anything new here. Uh, this is the Legends line, of course. Down here we have the Elite Collection figures, featuring some more accessories. And over here we have a look at retro figures with the playset. You can see an assortment of characters here, 
uh, all the way. <laughs> Love that Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Always great to see that. And over here we have a Superstars collection. Uh, these are Walmart exclusives. So you get a good idea of what the product line looks over there, featuring some soft goods as well. And over here we have uh, Mattel Creations exclusives. These are all two packs uh, for the Coliseum collection on this great stage here that they're all in the, um, on the ring. The crowd probably not included. <laughs> And over here, we have some Ultimate Edition 2-pack with uh, Undertaker and the uh, Gobbledygooker. Here's a look at their centerpiece. This is the Ultimate Edition ring, which is currently available in Mattel Creations. And you got some Monday Night War Elites and Ultimates in here as well. I uh, love the chairs. It's a fun little design back there. And here's the championship showdown display with the WWE Superstar Ring. Um, if you look, you can see some classics from the last 30 years or so of wrestling, including, oh, who's this guy in the back here? There's The Rock, of course, with Steve Austin right in front of him. And just wanted to end by showing you the other exclusive here for WWE, and that's the Muhammad Ali action figure set, where you could have him both in his boxing um, attire and as a ref. And this is available on MattelCreations.com right now or here at Comic-Con in the booth. So that about wraps it for the Mattel booth. We showed you a few of their product lines. Uh, I didn't take you through the, the Hot Wheels that is also here, the Monster High. Didn't think anyone wanted to see those. Uh, yeah, otherwise, let me know. But that's all for now. We got more coverage coming up. So like, subscribe, and follow. And we'll see you guys at the next booth.